And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Detroit Tigers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. Today's starting pitcher, Kenta Maeda. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like we that can keep a good know. tempo, don't give no, hitters me. time to adjust or think. They can Whoa. move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Steven Kwan leading things off and takes a strike. Next ball, offering way break. upstairs. is fouled off the one two that's Two down and in Two strike. misses off the play full count now Struck him out. One out in the top of the first. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Now the number two hitter. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh 0-1 and one. Oh one's the count. One out, base is empty. Comes up empty. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. The next offering misses. Gonna count one and two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. And he chases that one. Two gone. Well, a well-thrown splitter is going to do exactly that. Get you off balance thinking it's a fastball. Very similar to a changeup, but oftentimes a split's going to have even more downward movement with more velocity. Good pitch. Jose Ramirez stands in now and watches strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. This to third. Under Urshela. Guardians go down in order. Guardians fail to score. The Tigers coming up. No score. Back after this on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy. And on the mound in this one, Gavin Williams. And Chris, he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. And here it comes. Matt Veerling, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Oh, 
Right hander kicks deals. Up the middle. Toss to Naylor. One up, one down. Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Matt Veerling. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position? Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close, late-game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Oh. Jimenez, throw to first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Two outs, base is empty. Riley Green up now for the Tigers. Missed with a changeup. Ball one. And another ball. Two outs, base is empty. Here's a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you'd have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. On the ground. Jimenez tosses to first, and the Tigers retired one, two, three. Tigers are shut down there, scoreless after one. New inning getting started. Now the four hole hitter for the Guardians, Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor. Maeda back to work. And a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. Hard ground ball base now. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And up next for Cleveland, David Fry. First nope, pitch, and he just misses. Oh. On the ground to the Fair left, ball. and foul ball. The one one. Rolled to short, possible two ball. One at second. Out. On to first, double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Here's Andres Jimenez. Outside low, and that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball. No score here in the second. On the ground to third. Fires across oh. the diamond, and that is the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in Detroit, bottom of the second. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. Kelly.
Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. That one finds the zone. And that's strike one. one. Good eye right there. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see them a lot. Whoa, yeah, but man. they're all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think over time, you can develop a relationship with them. Gets a piece and stays alive. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's downstairs and outside. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Wenzel Perez stands in now, looks at that one inside. Base hit, left center field. Throw back in quickly, first and second now with nobody out. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Now it's going to be Justin Henry hey. Malloy. That's in for a strike. First and second, no outs. Bottom half of inning number two. Out towards right center field. And that gets down into the gap. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate. And they take a two-run lead. Well, he had the opportunity to drive in some runs, and he comes through to break the tie. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Runner in scoring position, no outs at the play. Zach McKinstry. Edge of the zone, call the strike. Going one. Man at second. On the ground, out to short. Gathers and throws to first. That's one out the bottom of the second. The first baseman, Gio Urshela. Gio Urshela steps in. That's a slider for a strike. Still only one out here in the inning. And ball one. One one down. Good eye in that spot.
Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. And now it's filled up. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Kwan makes the catch, and there's two down. Batting none. No left fielder. Kill. And stepping in is the speedy Akil Badu. That one is absolutely belted. This one's got a chance. Stretches out and hauls it in. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two run double. And it's two zip. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Top half of the third inning. Here's the rookie right fielder, John Kenzie Noel. The why to kick the pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. Late swing fouled off. In there at the knees. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plane. Here's the 2 2. And another ball. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one out now. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Ball one, no strikes. Naylor throws right, bats left. 24 years old, and he was born in Canada. One down, base is empty. And it's fouled away. The one two. And right back to the mound. On to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there, just rolled over it, got the ground ball. Here's Brian Riccio. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Fastball for a strike. The Tigers leading by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Pitch misses there, and it's two and one. Two ball, one strike. Ah. 
swing and a miss struck him out and it's a one two three inning nothing doing for the Guardians there they trail things here two nothing back at Comerica Park leading off Matt Veerling third baseman as he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers high fly ball right field and there's one away now back second baseman Colt Keith. Colt Keith up now for the Tigers grounded out his first time Bottom of the zone and a called strike. And a foul ball. The 0 2. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. They now hand the ball over to a new arm, Tanner Bybee. This guy's a strike thrower. He's done an excellent job of avoiding walks so far this season. Now a check swing, but he held up. Left hand batter waits. Ball inside. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Fry on the move. Squeezes it. And there's two down. Now batter, center fielder, Riley. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Riley Green. That's Ball off the mark. Here. One and oh. Two outs. That's ball two. That one ball. missed. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That one's back. And it hits the fence. And he's got a double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. So two down. Here's the catcher, Carson Kelly. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Naylor. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for Detroit, but they hold a 2-0 lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the fourth, now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Liner snagged at first. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're in the plate. And now the center fielder went down on strikes his first time through.
Counts 1-0. Oh. Kicks and deals. And it's even up. Left field. Out number two. The batter. The designated. Two hitter. outs, base is empty. Jose. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Over oh, one so far. In there at the knees. Strike one. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Green settles under it. And that'll do it. And we're back. Now it's the switch the hitting outfielder, Wenzel right Perez. Wenzel Perez. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Out to short, Rokio. Sends it across the first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. The batter, number 44. Designated hitter, Justin, Justin Henry, Henry Malloy will hit next. Malloy. Doubled in his first A.B. Just oh, missed. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That one fouled off. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. That's Whoa, off the that mark. Count. Now two balls and a strike. Ah. And a swing and a miss there. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. That's Down outside, the three, and the count's full. Downstairs, four, and it misses, four. ball four. Got a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to lay off some really now close batted. pitches, and somehow, Bogey found a way to keep the bat what on his shoulder three. right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. McKinstry oh, in the box ball. now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Next hey. offering in there for a strike. And the count yeah, one, one and one. one. Hit in the air, left field. Quan settles underneath it. Snags it for the second out. Here's Gio Urshela. Fly to the left his first time. Gio Urshela. And that one pulled foul. Malloy off of first with two away. That's in there. Righty to the plate. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Makes the play, and it's out number three. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left on. We've played four. It's the Tigers two, and the Guardians nothing.
Back here in Detroit, Three top five, Josh Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor. Maeda back to work. Just off the inside edge. You know, these Guardians, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Good hitters count the 2-0. And that one fouled off. Ripped on the ground a second. Tosses to first. One up, one down. And here is David Fry. He's 0 for 1. That one in there across the letters. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Fouled off. He was late. The Guardians trailing by two. And we're at the top of the fifth. That one, one not close. And that's ball one. 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Wouldn't Ball chase two. that time. Two, two, the count. In the air right field, Paris on the move towards the line. Tracks it down for the out. And there's two away. Now back. Second base. Stepping up for the Guardians, Andres Jimenez. First time up, he grounded to third. Strike one. All one's the count. He swings and fouls one off. Popped up left side. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. The Guardians go down in order. They're still down. It's two zip. Back at Comerica Park. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Akil Badu. And he deals. That's out to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The third baseman, number eight. Matt, Matt Veerling up now for the Tigers. Come on, and a pop up right side, foul territory. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Good hard Second fastball up in the zone right there. Goal. They look really good coming Keith. in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Next to hit, Colt Keith. Keith. To third. Knocks it down. He doesn't have a play, and the defense comes away with nothing. Now battle. Better fielder. And at first, Riley Green, the next to hit, one for two. When you're taking your lead over there at first, you've got to be very careful. This guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move. Okay, 
smoked on the ground a second. Toss to Naylor. Third out, and that ends the frame. Tigers lead one. They're up 2 nothing. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the right fielder, John Kenzie Noel. The pitch. Fought off foul. Noel in his rookie season, 22 years old. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Next offering is down low. Hard on the ground to first. Urshela oh. takes it himself, and that's one out as they get the leadoff now hitter in the sixth. Bo Naylor. Bo Naylor digs in for the Guardians. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform, but at some point that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big oh, league level. Just missed. On the ground, right side, and that's just foul. One down, base is empty. On the ground to first, Urshela. He steps oh. on the bag, and that quickly two away. The batter, number four, shortstop, Brian Rocchio. Brian Rocchio getting ready to hit. Struck out swinging his first time. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. In the air out to center. Green settles under it. Makes the grab. And that is that. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Tigers two and the Guardians nothing. Number 36 on the pitch here. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball now in the park. Not the an easy guy to take deep. Number 36, Cade Smith. And now the catcher Lead comes up, up to him. Carson Kelly. He's 0 for 1. Carson Kelly. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Sam Hentges appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Heron also getting ready. Yeah, the right hander deals. Next ball. offering misses down and away. I got a ball, one strike. And the righty deals. Just oh, missed. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. And the pitch. And it skips in the dirt. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Payoff pitch. Right side, hard hit. Jimenez threw the first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Now batting, right fielder, Wenzel. And the batter now, Wenzel Perez. Just missed. Bases empty, one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Go, 
Next offering in there for a strike. One and, one. and it's one and one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Here's a one-two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Rips one to right. Noel pulls it down. That's out number two. Now batting. The designated hitter. Two outs, base is empty. Henry. Justin Henry oh, Malloy oh. up now for the Tigers. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizes this one up. And that ends the inning. And we're back. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. So what we're seeing is a lineup that's just out of sync with the pitcher. They're guessing wrong and their timing's off. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game commanding his pitches all night long here's the center fielder inside just missed now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here try to close that gap but you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The tying run at the plate. Fights that one away, still one and two. And that's outside. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. With the tying run at the plate, here the top half of inning number seven. In the dirt, and the count's full. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Bounce to third, and it gets by him. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Here's Jose Ramirez. And there's a ball. So the tying run at second. Pitch misses, and the count is 2 0. Oh. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball makes the count 2 and 1. And a pitch. Breaking ball inside. And now three and one. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. On the ground, could be two. Quickly to second for one. And they turn the double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Here's Josh Naylor.
First pitch misses. Quan at third with two away. That misses the zone. Two and oh. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Tyler Holton getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Foley, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. Tying run at the plate. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Hit hard. That gets through. In to score from third. And a 2 1 ball game now. So the tying run reaches with two away. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. And here comes the Tigers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Kento Maeda won't go any further, and he was a tough nut to crack. Pretty stingy from start to finish. Back with the new arm after a quick break. New pitcher for the Tigers, Shelby Miller. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Miller. Now the third baseman, David Fry. That just misses. And that is ball one. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Here comes a pitch. That one missing inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Two outs. That one fouled off. Two and two. At the belt and fires. Off the mark there. And it's three and two. Andres Jimenez hitting on deck circle. Swing and a miss. And that is that. But they push across one run, three hits, no errors, and a runner left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Tigers two and the Guardians one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Sam Hentges. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Well, one run game. Now it's the shortstop, Zach McKinstry. As the lefty gets to work. That's a strike across the top of the zone. The lefty fires. Swing and a miss. He can live up in the zone the all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Got him looking. One out. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right up there. You got three the straight fastballs the looking baseball. in the 0 2 count. Yeah. Just to pour it back. Gio Urshela to the plate. Pitch in for a strike. 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Base is empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. And they'll do it again. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The 
wind of the pitch. Inside, ball one. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. One down, base is empty. Struck him out. Really fooled him with the breaking ball there. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first the two batters he's faced no in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but Not relievers two. are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. And I'm so glad I'm retired. Badu, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. one. That's down and in. Two down, nobody on. And nope. that's outside. Okay. Two and one. And a foul ball. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Line drive. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to begin the eighth. Stepping in, Andres Jimenez. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Jason Foley appears to be getting loose. Risky, also throwing. And fouled off. Looking to get the tying run on base. That misses, and it's one and two. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And here it comes. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Righty delivers. And that one upstairs. A swing and a miss. Now one away. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. John Kenzie Noel digs in for the Guardians. Oh, that's Wouldn't chase that time. One down, base is empty. There's the strike. One and one. Swing and a miss. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Alex Fiedo taking over on the mound. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. So in now for Cleveland, Bo Naylor. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. In the air to left center, coming on. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Tim Heron. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game.
Matt Veerling up now for the Tigers. The third baseman. Matt the pitch. It's good speed Ball at the top of the no order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And now the lefty. Out to short. Whips it across. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. The second baseman. Keith. And up next for Detroit, Colt Keith. One for three. Fastball in for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Eli Morgan up and throwing. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And that one lifted in the air center field has a beat on it. And there are two outs. The batter, the center fielder, Riley. Riley Green digs Green. in now. That That's misses. Ball. ball one. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Aye. In for a strike, and it's one and one. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very Aye. difficult, especially for a left handed one hitter ball. to track. Two outs. Ground ball to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Down in order go the Tigers, but they still lead it 2-1. to one. now and on the mound the closer Jason Foley I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it every outing seems to be high pressure this one included we'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save and he deals in the box now take strike one Lifted in the air and down the left side. And it drops in. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Now at the plate, Stephen Kwan. Known for his late inning heroics. Full oh, checks said. over to first. And he's back. I think you want to get a one-way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score on a ball in the gap. That one the other way. Can't get to it, and it eats him up. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Really important at bat coming up now. First and second, no outs. Now the number two hitter, outfield playing pretty shallow. And he lays one down the left side. Scoops it up barehanded. Now he launches a throw over his head. And this ball's going to wind up out of play. So a big time costly mistake there.
So a lefty out of the pen, Tyler Holton. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Go ahead, run on base. Next is the designated hitter, Jose Ramirez. Golden opportunity right here. There's a strike. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Two in scoring position, nobody out here at the top of the ninth. There's a line drive to left field. Dives and makes the catch. Both runners tagging. He'll score on the sack fly. 3-2, they take the lead. Yeah, just a great effort out there to track that one down and bring it in on the dive. Awesome effort to get at least one out. Yeah, a run comes across to score as he tagged from third, but it could have easily been a lot worse if that ball drops. And now it's Josh Naylor. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Cleveland up a run, looking for more. It's in and out of his glove. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. And up next for Cleveland, David Fry. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And that's in there for strike one. Some hitters are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Two outs. Swing and a miss. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Out to first base and he snags it to end the inning. A couple of runs in the inning puts him ahead. Onto the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. Guardians three, Tigers two. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Emmanuel Classe. Power slider guy, boy. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Well, one run game, and here is Carson Kelly. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. One run game, bottom nine. Fought off foul. That's the third. Fry. Throws the first in time. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Positioned perfectly. He's two outs away. Wenzel Perez up now for the Tigers. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, a good slider from an opposite-handed pitcher has to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer. Otherwise, recognition can cause you to barrel it up. And right there, the hitter clearly couldn't do anything with it. Here's the 0-2. Caught him looking for the K. Well, that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you usually see very well. But for some reason, he didn't pick it up. And it just kind of got into the strike zone late. Gave up on it a little bit early. So, last chance for the Tigers. Justin Henry Malloy up now for the Tigers. And that one fouled off. And he takes one right on the black. That's strike two.
trying to close out a one run lead. They're the home team trying to pull it out. Next offering ball. upstairs. One ball, two strikes to count. One strike away. Fouls it off, still one and two. Two down, nobody on. Base hit center field. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Zach McKinstry up now for the Tigers. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. First pitch just misses. And there's the strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. The 1 1. Hit to right, and that ought to do it. And that'll do it. The Guardians hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one run ball game. Well, all game, this team had to battle with that 10th man, those fans making a lot of noise, but they took the lead in the ninth inning, quieted things down, but were able to get those final three outs in the bottom half as well. Just a very well-executed ball game.